Segment 6. Personalized Medicine in Cancer. Comparing Apples with Apples. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the therapeutic areas that could be significantly improved by personal medicine, and that's cancer. Cancer is a heterogeneous disease, which means that everyone's tumor is unique. So a personalized approach is really the only way to provide an effective, safe treatment of the disease. It's similar to comparing apples with apples. There are over 100 different varieties of apples available. So which one are you going to buy? Some may say that any apple will do, but it really depends on what you plan to do with those apples. Anyone who has baked their fair share of apple pies know from experience that Macintosh or Granny Smith apples are probably better bets for baking than Red Delicious apples. So if you're looking to treat cancer, which of the hundreds of cancer drugs are you going to use to treat a patient? Well, that depends on which of the over 200 varieties of cancer you're looking to treat. Until now, it's been somewhat of a trial and error process. Giving a patient a particular drug and then seeing how that drug works. But with personalized medicine, Molecular biomarkers will allow doctors to better predict a patient's response to a particular drug based on their genetic profile and diagnostic testing results. New, improved biomarkers of cancer will allow pharmaceutical companies to develop better targeted drugs and diagnostic tests. For example, the FDA-approved drug Herceptin was developed to treat breast cancer patients with overexpression of the cancer gene HER2. At the end of the day, what it comes back to is that we still need to develop more information, better biomarkers, and new technologies for personalized medicine to truly get underway. We hope you've enjoyed our video series that has taken you through some of the technologies enabling the era of personalized medicine. By subscribing to our YouTube channel or our newsletters, you can learn more about new technologies in biomedical research and in drug discovery and development. Thank you.